Give myself away myself away so you can use me I give myself away to Elohim be the praise glory and honor belong to him I give him all the praise shalom shalom everyone shalom I want to welcome everyone to the West African Hebrew Israelites the hidden identity Thank you so much for joining me through today's teachings. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate everyone that you know or watch our videos and that subscribe to our channels. Or oh, thank uh, our new uh, subscribers. Thank you so much. It's not easy that anyone will like um, watch your videos and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. And I'm pleading, I'm pleading, <laughs> I'm begging that anyone can that come across the video, please, as you watch it, please subscribe it, subscribe it and click um, the notification button. Then when we post a new video, that will help for uh, YouTube to uh, notify you. So please, let's let's do that and help uh, the kingdom of Yah Elohim. This is a new message because now we are waking from our sleep. So it's very better for us to um, spread this message abroad. And we be the Hebrew Israelites. This is our duty that Yah is calling us to do all this. So please, please, let's do well and share the message of we being the Hebrew Israelites. And one will say, what's the point? The point is like, we have to what be the kingdom minded. We have to be um, people who Yah is willing to save. Our forefathers reject the will of Yah and we are in this mess. So please, please, you being the Hebrew Israelite is not enough. But we accept Yeshua and Mashiach, ask our Lord and personal Savior is more than enough. So please, let's do well and share our videos, please. Today's teachings will be based on um, we, the Hebrew Israelites, uh, uh, will see certain uh, Bible uh, chapters that talks about we, uh, the Lord Yahweh, scatter our forefathers and our foremothers abroad because of disobedience. So we'll do um, the book of Deuteronomy chapter 4, um, 25 to 31 and see what the um, Most High did or the, the prophecy or the message that he gave and it come to pass. So this dispensation, if we refuse to obey the uh, rules and regulations of Yah Elohim, the same thing will apply to us. Someone will say we are under the case. I'm not talking, I'm all, I won't say anything about the case today, but all I'm saying that our forefathers mess up with the Most High and we are doing the same thing. So it's better for us to uh, be awake. It's better for us to uh, accept the message of Him be the creator and him choosing us and we are his vessel so we need to do his will is the choice that we don't have our first people have choice that so i'm not sure that i want to be a believer or i want to believe in yeshua i want to even go to church but now a waking moment or understanding of the message of the Ruha or the message of the Torah tells us clear that indeed we are the people of the bible so if we are the people of the bible we have to do the will of the abba this is very, very important for each and every one that will come across this video. We need to do our best to follow the rules and regulations and keep the laws of the Most High. So uh, let's go straight and read the book of Deuteronomy chapter 4, 25 to 31. Long in the land and shall corrupt yourselves and make a graven image or the likeness of anything and shall do evil in the sight of the Lord thy God to provoke him to anger. I call heaven and earth to witness against you this day, that ye shall soon utterly perish from off the land whereunto ye go over Jordan to possess it. Ye shall not prolong your days upon it, but shall utterly be destroyed. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations, and ye shall be left few in number among the heathen, whither the Lord shall lead you. And there ye shall serve gods, the work of men's hands, wood and stone, which neither see, nor hear, nor eat, nor smell. But if from thence thou shalt seek the Lord thy God, thou shalt find him, if thou seek him with all thy heart and with all thy soul. When thou art in tribulation, and all these things are come upon thee, 
even in the latter days, if thou turn to the Lord thy God, and shalt be obedient unto his voice. For the Lord thy God is a merciful God. He will not forsake thee, neither destroy thee, nor forget the covenant of thy fathers which he swore unto them. For ask Deuteronomy chapter 4, 25 through 31. The Lord your God, Yahweh, your Elohim, shall scatter thee among the nation. If you went and possessed the land, and you refuse to do the will of the Father, this is what will happen to you. And I like the 35 very um, much, because it's talk about when you guys realize that you are wrong. Let me read it again. Deuteronomy uh, 4, 25 to 31. So I'll read the 31. It says, For the Lord Yahweh, their God Elohim, is a merciful Elohim. He will not forsake thee, neither destroy thee, nor forgot the, forgot the covenant of their fathers, which he have sworn unto um, them. He will not forsake thee. For us, 32, for us now of the days that are past, it's very, very important that the Lord say he will not forsake thee. That may repentance is have to follow. We have to follow by repentance. When we follow, surrender everything unto him then we will see forgiveness of the Father because he is a, 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 what, a merciful Father, a merciful Elohim, God. This is very unique, so powerful. And we will do Luke chapter um, 21, verse 20 to 24, we will read. Then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of it depart out. And let not them that are in the countries enter therein too. For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. But woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. For there shall be great distress in the land, and wrath upon this people. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Luke chapter 21, 21, Luke chapter 21, verse 20 to um, 24, as uh, Yeshua Mashiach gave the message or um, his word, that indeed he gave a clue that this will happen to his people, which is our forefathers. But when they see the sun, when they see the, those signs, those who are what in the mountains, they don't have to come down. They have to free. Even he, he, he feel pity uh, like for those people who are with child and pregnant. Why did Yeshua have to say this? Uh, we read the Deuteronomy. The then we are doing the book of Luke. The reason I'm bringing these two uh, um, books together, it will make sense in a minute. This came about after um, uh, uh, Yeshua died and went to heaven which is um, 30 years, 36 years later, when uh, Romans invasion, Roman, Romans army uh, invade um, Jerusalem, they took over and they, trust me, they killed a lot of people. Those things didn't go into the history book, they just kept it quiet. And a lot of them flee into West Africa. When you read the book of um, Second Ezra, Second Ezra 13, I think 42 going tells you, I don't want to read it, um, today it tells you into details where uh, which river they cross and when they went and all the time time and time our forefathers Hebrew Israelites always run to west they don't run to east they always run to west unless they capture them then they will take them to east but if they have to run they always run to west we can see the Genesis as our forefather Abraham did um, so many times even um uh, Isaac did that. Uh, the time um, Yahweh saved Israel and they went back to the land of Canaan, time and time, I think you can find it even in Jeremiah, they went, when anytime something happened on the land, then they will run to Egypt. So always they run to um, West, which is um, Israel is in the North East Africa, so they will go to West all the time. Okay, so by the way, this one, Yeshua is telling our people that this is what will happen. This um, 
what will happen to the land. So when you guys see this, know the doom is here. And uh, the 31, it say the Jerusalem, uh, so um, likewise, yea, when ye see these things coming to pass, know ye that the kingdom of what uh, God Elohim is at hand. And it said Jerusalem will be trampled upon until the time of the uh, Goyan or the uh, Gentiles will fulfill. The time of Gentiles is now. The Gentiles are in the land now until, so Jerusalem will be taken over until the time of Gentiles be fulfilled, until the end of the Gentiles, which is Christ will come and rule and reign, then he will, what, give our own, he will give the land to us. Other than that, the people will go into captivities. That's what Yeshua is saying. So as we read the Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 25 out of 31, it's the same thing. It says, my people what go will be scattered abroad. They will go into captivity. He will scatter them. He is the one who is scattering them. Why are you on your own land? Then you have to leave, leave the land. That means something happened. So the words of Yah Elohim have to come to pass. And this is the fulfillment of what Yeshua is saying in the book of Luke, chapter 21. We read from 20 up to um, we read from 20 up to 24. So this is the word of uh, the Mosai that it came to pass. What our forefather did and wrong came upon them. Please. I pray that I won't repeat the same mistake. Don't allow yourself to repeat the same mistake. As they rejected the will of the Father, they rejected the will of Abba, they rejected the will of Yah, Elohim, Yahweh, they rejected His will and what went in their own way. I'm begging, please do not do that. Let's allow ourselves for Aruha, the Holy Spirit, to minister unto us. Now, I'm just a messenger. Sounding the alarm, blowing the trumpet. Maybe, maybe you are a believer, uh, you are a believer, and you you are not standing well in the Lord. Please, please, be serving Yeshua. You be the Hebrew Israelites. Serving Yeshua is the right thing. And maybe you don't believe in even the Torah. You don't believe in um, Yeshua. You don't believe in anything because you think all those things are not true. Or maybe it's for Westerners. Trust me, I'm here to tell you. Search it. Let's search it. You just seek um, the word. Search it. You can do your own research. You will find out the truth. Because we hate being um, doing research. Research is not easy. So you can see one or two people that they would love to do research. Rest, we, we refuse to do research. Please, please, when you do the research, that will help. And you and I now will come and lie, lie to you. You will see the truth by yourself. I know, I know that um, your life will never be the same because you, you seek the truth, because you seek Yeshua Mashiach. Please, let's open our heart. Do not close your eyes. Do not close your ear. Do not shut anything up. Open up and seek his face. Seek his, seek his will. And your life will never be the same. The reason why I've opened myself, I've allowed um, Yeshua or the Ruha or the Father Abba to do his way in my life. For me to what? Come and teach or come and uh, deliver the message onto you guys each and every time that he will give me a message. It's one thing, the reason, because what? I want his will to be done in my life. The mistake that our forefather did, our foremother did, I don't want to repeat that mistake anymore. I won't repeat it. So I'm praying with his will, and he, him being the merciful uh, father, that he would forgive us our sins as we repent. As we surrender our life. When you read the book of John, 1 John 1, 9, it tells us clearly, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all righteousness. So it's very, very important for us to do repentance and surrender our life. Be a Hebrew Israelite. Who is the Hebrew Israelite? The word of the Mosa tells us clearly that the Hebrew Israelites are located in West Africa. Those people who they took abroad through the slave uh, ships and toward the diaspora. The name is the Atlantic slave trade. This is what happened to those people. I'm not saying only the West Africans are Hebrew Israelites. No, I'm saying this is a message Yah Elohim gave me that indeed we are the Hebrew Israelites. And if you follow or if you, you, you are not new to our teachings, you realize that time and time we have proof, proof to um, let you know. We are not proving to that, uh, anyone that 
because of we are this, accept us. No. He already accepted us. He already chose us. That we are the priesthood. So it, that's all that matters. That is enough for us. But the teachings will let our people, no outsiders, let our people know for them to be awake from their long sleep. So this is the message that we are bringing time and time. And I have, um, I would say, the word of the day. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. For I know the thought that I, have, I think towards you, says the Lord Yahweh, thought of peace and not of evil, to give you, he's saying, he giving you the peace of what? Your heart. This what Yah Elohim is saying. He's giving you the peace. I will end here with my message. I am so grateful for everyone that subscribed to our channel. Watches our videos and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for sharing the videos. May Yahweh bless you and keep you. In Yeshua's name, Shalom. Bye-bye.